Protein is very important for your body and, um, you know, especially as tra hard as we train. Rose Nell Yunus is a Lithuanian-American mixed martial arts fighter that is currently taking the sport by storm. Currently signed to UFC, she is currently number one in the UFC women's strawweight rankings and is only set to reach achieving more and growing her success. If you are a UFC fan, you already know about Rose Nema Yunus, but in this video, we're going to be taking more of a look at things that perhaps you may have not known. And if you like this content, please make sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel, plus hitting that notification bell so you never miss another update from us. Her beginnings. Rose Gertrude Nama Yunus was born on June 29, 1992 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin to Lithuanian parents. She was named Rose after her grandmother, whose husband was a Lithuanian military soldier. Rose's father suffered from schizophrenia, which ended up causing her many hardships and complications during her childhood. She started taking Taekwondo at age five, earning her junior black belt at age nine, and then went on to practice both karate and jujitsu. When Rose was in high school, she trained in both kickboxing and mixed martial arts with Duke Rufus at Roof Sport and was also a senior year wrestler at the Milwaukee High School of the Arts. With all the training that she started at such a young age, it's no surprise that she's risen to such fame and success as she's gotten older. Professional Debut Rose's professional debut was in 2013 when she fought against Emily Kagan in Invicta CS4. After two rounds, Nama Yunus was able to secure her victory via submission after a chokehold in round three. Then, she fought at Invicta FC5 against Katrina Kagan which she won by submission in just the first 12 seconds of the first round, which ended up leading her to gain her second submission of the night award, gaining her first in her debut fight. This ended up making Rose gain a lot of attention for her talent, and at the end of 2013, it was announced that she would sign to UFC to compete on season 20 of The Ultimate Fighter, which would crown her the first ever UFC strawweight champion. She went into the semifinals and ultimately lost to Carla Esperanza, but despite that loss, Loss, she still came in second and was awarded two $25,000 bonus awards for performance of the season and fight of the season. The show was another factor that ended up getting her noticed by fans, leading to her growth and popularity, her fighting style. Rose is one of the most skilled UFC fighters currently, and when you see how much she trained when she was younger, you can clearly see why. She's known for her advanced technical striking and impressive footwork, mainly due to her early training in mixed martial arts. She was trained to pressure opponents into jabs and high kicks, and will sometimes attempt to grapple in order to execute a submission. This fighting style has led her to many victories and making her an intimidating fighter. In the ring, she's also used the name Thug Rose, which was given to her by friends when she was younger due to her immense scowl. Rose Nama Yunus is definitely a force to be reckoned with. Titles and Awards Rose currently won the UFC Women's Strawweight Championship and has won many awards in the fights. Some of these include Submission of the Night, 2017 MMA Fighter of the Year, and Female Fighter of the Year, plus 2017 Upset of the Year and 2013, 15, and 17 MMA Submission of the Year. She also ended up winning the 2017 Knockout of the Year and the 2013 Women's MMA Fight of the Year. With all these awards under her belt, it's clear that Rose has a lot of popularity among fans and that people are interested in her fighting style and victories. Her professional record currently stands at 13, 9, and 4. Her personal life. Rose is currently 28 years old and has no kids. She's engaged to former MMA fighter Pat Barry, and Barry retired from the MMA in 2013 and returned to kickboxing, which is where he had originally started. He had joined Glory the following year to continue kickboxing. The two got engaged in 2014 and are still going strong, and Nami Yunus has even talked about her affection for Barry in the media, saying that she's never had a male fighter in her figure that was so supportive. Both Barry and Nami Yunus are successful fighters and have busy schedules, which must make the relationship a lot easier because the two understand each other's career goals. They're also training partners whenever they both have time. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to see wedding pictures. Her shaved head. Nami Yunus's shaved head is her iconic look now, but it actually came out of a bit of shock to fans when she first shaved off her hair in 2013 when she had joined the UFC. This was an empowering move for her as she posted a photo of her new look on her Instagram and said, quote, it's a fight, not a beauty pageant. It's in my way at practice. Cut it off. 
This has inspired many women who also fight, and is an empowering move to show that Nami Yunus is way more than her hair. The focus is her talent and skill, and all her hard work has paid off as she got signed to UFC, putting her at the road for a very successful career. She's a dog person. Nami Yunus is a dog person, and we can tell that she's always seen with her emotional support dog, Mishka. She considered Mishka her best friend, and you can also see videos of her and Mishka on social media, as she sometimes brings him to open workouts. She states that he helps keep her calm before fights, and honestly, having an emotional support animal is such a good idea, especially when you have a pretty hectic schedule like the one that she does. Who knows, maybe one day she'll have him sit in the audience for one of her big fights in the future. And another bonus fun fact that you cat lovers might like is that Rose does like cats and has an adorable one called Reggie, her net worth. Rose is one of the top female UFC fighters at the moment, and her career is appearing to skyrocket and only gain her more fans and success the more that she fights. As of 2021, her net worth is $1.5 million. Her highest earnings as to date was $240,000 against Johanna Jezicek, and she also has endorsement deals with big brands such as Marvel, Reebok, Monster Energy, Trifecta System, and Onk Sports. She's also made a lot of earnings from these brand deals, as well as UFC merch, which the fighters get a cut of. Charity work. Nami Yunus has a large following and earns a ton of money, but she also has a heart of gold, which is seen in her charity work. When she's not busy training or doing matches, she tries to give back to the community by participating in many charitable events. One of the most notable in her charity works was when she was involved with the Susan Fritton fundraiser, and a GoFundMe was set to raise money for the cancer patient in help of need. So far, the GoFundMe has already raised $100,000 of its $300,000 goal. This proves her care for the community and wanting to give back, and will be sure to see her involvement in more charity events in the future. Privacy and Media Rose Nama Yunus has spoken about things in the media and in interviews, such as her relationship with Barry, dogs, and childhood, but mostly she remains private about her life and seems to like staying out of the spotlight. Nobody knows where she lives, what kind of car she drives, or even about her lifestyle in general, but we definitely get get a lot of low-key vibes from her, and she doesn't like to live a super extravagant lifestyle and wants to be as authentic as possible, which is a big reason why so many fans look up to her. Authenticity is the most important thing to her, and that shines through with her personality. She's bilingual. As Rose's parents are Lithuanian, it's kind of no surprise that she's bilingual, even though she grew up in America. Rose can speak and understand Lithuanian, as well as communicate with her grandparents in Lithuanian. She's very proud of her heritage, and even has the Baltic flag with her for some of her fight walk. Outs. She hasn't had any fights in Lithuania as of yet, or even any interviews in Lithuanian, but we do hope to see her bilingual abilities in the future. She loves making her own food. Most MMA fighters have a strict diet that they need to maintain in order to keep their figure and stamina during fights. In order to be able to maintain the best physique possible, Rose has a lot of fresh produce in her fridge, and an interview with Insider even revealed that she grows her own cannabis and makes her own juice from the plant. She blends the cannabis with water and either lime or lemon juice and drinks it. This isn't the only DIY that she loves in the kitchen. She mentioned that growing up in a Lithuanian household, her mom always made homemade sauerkraut and other foods. Rose now makes her own fermented foods, such as kimchi from scratch, and also brews her own kombucha. Nami Yunus' diet also consists of a lot of spicy foods, and she mentions that one of her favorite condiments is hot sauce. She also tries to stay away from sugary drinks, but does enjoy a Pepsi during off-season. Oh, and her guilty pleasure is bagel bites. Same, to be honest. And that concludes today's video, Things to Know About Rose Nami Yunus. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you did like to see more content like this, please make sure to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel, as well as turn on post notifications, so that way you'll be the first to know about any new content that comes out. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and until next time, we'll catch you later.